When you cite sources as a college student, you'll be using a specific citation style. There are a variety of citation styles that are out there, and different disciplines use different citation styles. For example, the discipline of psychology uses the APA style. English and the humanities use the MLA style. The discipline of biology uses the CSE style. Be sure to ask your instructors which style they prefer you use. The next slides in this presentation follow the CSE style. CSE is short for the Council of Science Editors. The CSE has created the style manual used by biologists and other scientists. There are three different systems in CSE, including the name year system. With the name year system, your in-text citation will always be the author's last name and publication year. Likewise, the full citation in your references will always begin with the author's name and then the publication year. The COLO example here is a citation from an encyclopedic entry in an online reference book collection. It is an online or ebook. Here is an example of what a CSE paper looks like. Notice the in-text citations highlighted in yellow match the full citations on the reference page. There are some general rules for a CSE citation that distinguish it from other citation styles. The general rule for author is to include the full last name, but the author's first and middle names are listed with initials only, which you can see in the Johnson example. When you have more than one author, separate the authors with a comma, as can be seen with the Whitney and Rolfs example. Notice how the in-text citation includes both of the author's last names and publication year. A second key element in CSE is the capitalization rules. Only capitalize the first word of the title. If there is a subtitle, do not capitalize the first letter of that subtitle. Capitalize proper nouns, initials, and acronyms in a title. Notice with the Cunningham example that only the first word down is capitalized. Dates are presented written in a specific order, year, month, day. Months are always abbreviated to three letters. Even short months, like July, are abbreviated to J-U-L. This citation example is for a website. In this example, the web page was updated in February 2014. So you see both the year and abbreviated month after the author's name. In CSC, you also include the year, month, day that you viewed the website, which can be seen in this example as the access date. The website was viewed on February 10, 2017. Unlike websites, when citing books and journal articles, you only use the year of the publication. Sometimes you won't have an identifiable individual author. This may be even the case with reliable websites. When this happens, your CSC citation will start with the title of the web page. This citation example had no distinguishable author, so the citation starts with the title Botulism. Notice how this citation reflects that the web page was last updated on May 3, 2016. Remember, your in-text citation must always match your full citation, which can be seen with this example. Also, notice that the place of publication does not include the state of Georgia. Since it is commonly known that the city of Atlanta is in Georgia, it is not necessary. The previous slides went over some basic tips about using CSE. For additional information, go to the Phoenix College Library and click on Citing Help.